first of all, we're going to do a brain spill. A brain spill is when I give you a sheet of paper and then I give you about a minute. I tell you what the topic is and you write everything that you can think of and remember about that topic. Okay, so in the middle you're going to write electricity. And then I'm going to have you divide your paper into four parts. In this box, I'm going to have you write about anything that you remember about circuits. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute, just anything that you remember. Madison, what's one thing that you remember about circuits? Um, it has to go in one way and then has to come out the other way. If you have something similar to that, then remember, put a check mark next to it. But if you don't have that at all, then please add it. The second box is schematic diagrams. Again, I'm going to give you one minute. Stop. I'm going to call on one of you to come up and draw it for me. Antonio? <laughs> How many of you guys had something similar to that on your paper? Yep. The next square, the engineering design process. One minute for anything you remember about that. So this time I saw a lot of people, there were some people who were drawing pictures of people who were working together. There were some people who were making a list of the different steps in the engineering design process. Okay, final one. And the one that we're going to move on to next is conductors. Ready? Go. Conductors. Okay, stop. Material that lets um, electricity flow through it. Okay. And what's a type of material that will let electricity flow through? Metal. Different types of metal. In a reminder for Emily, what was her problem that they were trying to solve? Ray? She couldn't remember when to fill the water. And what did she do to solve that problem? Mariella? Um, she was designing a, um, a alarm circuit. And what was in her alarm circuit? A buzzer and um, a light. A buzzer and a light. And why was there a buzzer and a light? There's a light too. If she doesn't hear it, she, she knows the signal. Okay, and then the buzzer? The buzzer is um, if first you could hear it from far away. Okay, so what we've done is we've made a model trough. This is the what we would call the switch. So when the water's full, the sheep will be able to go and, and drink from, from there. As it empties out and the sheep drink, what do you think is going to happen? It'll go to the other side. Okay. So when the trough is empty, what happens? It tips this way so it'll complete the circuit and close it. So what do you think, what type of material is going to have to be there so that when it comes down, it can complete the circuit? Uh, conductor material, like metal. Okay, some type of uh, conductor like metal. Okay, here's what we're going to do. In the bag are different materials. So your job is to test each material to see whether it is a conductor or an, what's it, what is it called if it's not a conductor? Insulator. Insulator. Here's what I'm going to have you do. You're going to create this circuit and then you're going to take out your materials and test it. Fabrics. It's not metal, so it can't go through. It's not a conductor. Batteries. Yeah. 
work. So today you are going to take and sh or you're going to share what you imagined yesterday, okay? And then you're going to, with your group, come up with a plan, okay? So make sure that you're filling out the plan part today. When you get with your group and you, after you've shared your ideas and you all decide on a plan together, you are going to then bring your plan, this sheet of paper, up to me so that I can take a quick look at it and make sure that there aren't any short circuits. When I give you the go-ahead, what your group is going to do is you're going to transfer your plan onto a final draft, larger sheet of paper. Once you have finished drawing your schematic diagram on here, what you're going to do is hand it to the contractors and the contractors are going to actually build the circuit right on top of your schematic diagram. If you have any questions, go ahead and raise your hand. Okay? Go ahead, guys. Get with your group. So it doesn't really matter. So I think we should use these it's not the neatest, but it's then you should draw it. And then yes, one bulb, two batteries, one switch. No, I don't think we need two batteries. Okay. One, two batteries, two bulbs, an open switch. I think this is or my second one has that weird ring thing, and we have to take that ring on the bottom. Okay, I'll call it. You keep it here. Your contractors are actually going to build on top of your schematic diagram. What I'm going to do is when I see that your group has finished that, I'm going to have you switch with your contractor. This side? Yeah. So, tape. We need tape. Tape. This is a new line. tape. This is tape. At the very end of your packet, tear off one person's contractor feedback form. You are going to give feedback to your partner group, the electrical engineers, on how they might improve their design. Okay, go ahead, guys. Or diagram of the switch connection for may help you know your idea. Okay, guys, your time is up. And so what we're gonna do right now, you are gonna give back every single piece that was given to you. The next step that you're gonna do is you're going to put it together and test your circuit and your switch connection point. You know what I want to do? Let me see what. Okay. It doesn't work. This is opposite. We made the opposite. Instead of when it's an open lever, it turns on. When it's closed, it's off. Miss Myers. I know. It works too. I have 31 students in here and I'm the only teacher and so it takes a lot of time for me to prepare the materials for my students but it's definitely worth it and the kids love it, they're engaged. Yesterday at back to school night there were a ton of my students that w came and were excited to show their parents how to build the electrical circuits.